Hey guys! I know it's been a while since I actually made another video and it's getting ready to rain outside and I just got back from um, a meeting. I just got back from a meeting here so I'm not even entirely sure how this video is showing up but I decided to do another review for you since I haven't been on YouTube for a while now and I do apologize for that but I'm going to do a product review and it's going to be on a brand that I've never actually tried before. This right here is the NYX Shine Killer. This is actually a primer. You can find this at select Target stores and I believe Ulta Beauty for around $13.99. Yeah, $13.99 plus tax. So it's pretty much about $14. Bucks. I ended up picking up this primer because I ran out of my Cover FX Mattifying Primer, which that has an anti-acne treatment. I end up ran, running out of that. I mean, I literally squeeze every drop out of that little tube. And, excuse me, there was no way I was gonna go outside without another primer to cover my oily face and keep it under control. But I wasn't willing to shelf out at least 38 bucks for it. I think that's how much the cover effects cost. If I get the price wrong, just tell me in the description below. But there was no way I was going to shelf out that much money to get a small tube of primer. So I ended up doing a bit of research and I tried looking for regular drugstore cheap options for me. This happened to be one of them. So it took me to visit uh, two Target stores and then eventually Ulta in order to find this particular product here. And this happened to be the second to last bottle so I'm guessing that this product is very very popular. I have already used it three times now. This would be my third time because I'm wearing it right now. And I gotta say, for around 14 bucks, this primer does the job very, very well and then some. It isn't kidding when it says shine killer. I mean, for maybe up to four hours, it keeps my face very clean. Almost shine free, but not entirely. But it does prevent my face from looking like I just ran a marathon or I'm sweating like a pig in heat. It's really good. It's a gel-like consistency here. It even has a little description on what it's supposed to do. But it's a small gel, a clear gel-like consistency and it's very easy to spread on your skin. I recommend spreading it on after you've applied your facial moisturizer and you let it sit in for about um, a minute or two. And then you go ahead and apply this primer. Now it does say that you can apply this primer on top of your makeup, but speaking from my perspective, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I usually just apply facial moisturizer, then the primer, and I'm out the door, or I will apply my facial moisturizer, my prim this primer, or any other primer I choose, and then my tinted moisturizer, which in this case is still the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, but it's soon going to be switched out. Hint, hint. But... Today I decided to go out and just go ahead and wash my face and just put this on, you know, because I really, really, really like it. And considering that it's about maybe a fraction of how much the Cover FX mattifying primer costs, this is actually a bang for your buck here. It's really affordable. I just wish it was a little bit less. Maybe somewhere around, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. Yeah. But... From what I've heard about NYX, NYX is supposed to be a professional makeup brand of sorts. So, like I said, I don't wear makeup, so I'm not really big on makeup and whatnot. I'm just looking for a good primer. And this stuff really pretty much did it. It's easy to spread on your skin. It takes a minute to sink right in, but when it does, it's almost like a powdery matte finish to your skin here. And more importantly, it does keep my face free of excess oil, but not to the point where my face can stay completely matte free. I mean, I don't know if the camera is picking this up now, but there is a bit of shine, especially on the T-zone here, my oily, most oily zone on my face, particularly my nose here. But overall, it does a really, really good job. And honestly, I'm looking to switch to this stuff. My only complaint about this stuff here is that it's too small. It's way too small. I mean, it's like only... How many ounces is it? It's like... I think it was like 0.69 ounces. That's... 
The Cover FX mattifying primer was much bigger than this, even if it was only like an ounce bigger. I'm not even sure. But honestly, if I'm going to pay $14 for this, I kind of want it to be in a much bigger size. At least an ounce. Maybe 1.69 ounces. That would be fine with me. But for now, maybe when I start using it a lot more often and just stick to it, this bottle just seems really, really, really small. And I wish it could be bigger. But maybe that's just me being nitpicky as usual. But this is pretty much all I have to say about this prim this primer. This is really good for somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on makeup primers and whatnot, you know, to prepare your face before you put on any makeup. And this is really good for women who like to use drugstore makeup and not the most expensive kinds that you'll find in Ulta Beauty, Sephora, even Nordstrom, for example. But give this a shot. I recommend this to people with oily skin, probably blemish prone skin. I'm not sure for sensitive skin, I can't speak on that. But I think this is really good for oily skin here and this is really good for women who want to look beautiful on a budget. Sort of like myself. But if you've tried this before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below here. I don't have really much more to say about this stuff. but. If it worked for you or if it didn't work for you or if you know any other places where you can find this particular primer let me know in the comments below I usually read the comments and if you like my review a thumbs up is always appreciated but right now my schedule has been completely packed with work school and rest yeah that's pretty much it and I know Independence Day is coming up next Monday. I am preparing for it and I have special plans for that. So during that time, I might not be able to get another product review out, but I will do the best that I can to get more out to you. And I thank you guys for being very, very patient with me here. So I will see you in the next video. Remember all questions and whatnot and any experiences can be left in the comments below. Feel free to share the video. I will eventually put up a blog post about this, this, so if you're following my blog, stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video, guys, so, right now, doesn't seem to be raining anymore, but right now, I'm gonna go get some rest here, because I'm really tired, so, see you later, guys.